Hello everyone. So today I'll be tell, telling you about Autobots CNC monitoring solution. So when you log into the screen, you shall be able to see all your machines on a glance. So we give you machine card view in which all your machines will be visible and you can see the status of each machine, whether they're online, whether they're offline. You can see what part or what program is being running on the machine. You can see how many production counts that have been on the machine. You can see the status of the machine. For example, this machine is idle. Part count is 143 and this is U813 cutting. So that way you are able to see. And also we provide you a Gantt chart, which is a summary of how the machine has performed over the last six hours. So we can see that over here, there was a gap of half an hour, which may be due to changes in the shift or it can be due to bad operator. Over here we are able to see that the machine was offline for a while at uh, 5.57 uh, the machine was turned off. Over here we can see that this machine was turned off and it has not been operation in the last 6 hours. Over here also we are able to see that there is a lot of idle time which can be resolved. So this idle time is a big loss to the company and we need to check the reason for the idle time. Same way we are able to see how many machines are offline and how many are online. So for over here we are able to see that 27 machines are online out of 43. We are able to see the plant OE which is uh, availability is 58%. We are able to see the performance which is 60% again and the OE amounts to 35%. So this is the OE right now we are able to see. Now let's say you, you may ask me Sagar I want to view the data not just for six hours but for a long time then we click on this button and we can see the new data coming in so now we have got data from 9 am to 9 pm which is 12 hours of data we have over here so for the 12 hours of data we are able to see what is happening where have the losses have been so you can use this to find faults you can use this to find problems and can use this to get more insights on data. Now let's say you may say okay, Sagar I want to download this data. Then you can also download data over here by clicking this button and you will get a PDF or JPG file for, the, for this data. Now if you want you can also search machines over here. We have a search functionality. You can filter the machines based on your requirements if you want to. So now you can filter the machines by the name, the manufacturer, the type, uh, location, unit, subunit, everything is possible. Over here we can see that the JPG for this has been downloaded over here. So now going to the machine, now let's say if we go into any machine, we can download a report for the machine. So now over here, uh, in the report we are able to see the plant time was 13-20 minutes. The machine R8 was 500 rupees and the report version is 1.2. So here we can also see what uh, happened in the day. So we've got day summary, we've got shift wise summary, first shift, second shift and if there are two, three shifts then we can get in third shift. Then for every shift and every operator we are able to see what all parts were made. So in shift one Geeta was there as operator. She made the production for this part and the availability of the machine with her was 98%, her performance was very bad, 35%, quality was good. So net OE comes out to around 35%. So when did she come? She came sharply at 8.30 and left on time at 6.59. Okay, now she was on time, so the machine was, while she was on the machine, the machine was on for 6.20 minutes, working time was 6.30 minutes because she came in, she did more time over here. Uh, and for 10 minutes the machine was offline her wages amount to 420 rupees the losses in the machine are 2000 rupees because of bad operation the production on the machine was 193 units target was 539 net production is 193 so there's no rejection same way we are able to see data for productive time planned downtime unplanned downtime uh, productive time was 383 minutes so we are able to see everything loading time was 32 minutes cutting time was 130 minutes so here we are able to see the actual cycle time versus the master cycle time 
so master cycle time was 116 but actually the production was going on at 59 seconds so uh, there is a problem with the master and it needs to be updated actual loading time versus master loading time best cycle time cycle time deviation is 11 seconds so in all the cycles that have been produced we are able to see a deviation of 11 seconds loading time is also huge because there are huge gaps in loading time so this is uh, something as a su summary which gives you a day OE, shift OE. Uh, so in shift 2 there was no production so that's why we are not able to see any data over here. And then again in, uh, we are able to see the downtime reasons. The break time was the highest downtime reason. Then there was job change, machine cleaning. All the downtime issues are highlighted over here. We are able to see. Then the part summary if there are multiple parts made then we are able to see the list of all the parts that were made. Then we also have one more report. Let's say we'll generate report for Tuesday. So here we again get the production count, net production, target production, ability, performance, quality, OE, cycle time, loading deviation. We can see the Gantt chart over here. We are able to see that there was huge gap between uh, 10 to 11, then 1 to 2 then 315 to 330 then there was gap at uh, 545 to 6 and we are also seeing the corresponding downtime regions for that particular time so we are seeing that there was warning there was job change due to which there was uh, losses so here we are seeing job change in blue blue yellow we are able to see there was break time then again job change so there were lots of job change there was some power failure at uh, 345 we are able to see the brown color brown color corresponding over here then again over here we are able to see that who the operator was what was happening what are the top downtimes when the operator was there what was available time actual downtime all the data we are able to see and monitor what was the OE so we are able to we are seeing that continuously this machine is underperforming for some reason or the other which needs to be checked and in the second shift also there was nobody to do the production which again is a bad thing so we can also see downtime analysis over here we can also get the part time part analysis then cycle time analysis we are able to see the loading time versus cycle time over here then if there is rejection we can see the rejection data also but thankfully there has been no rejection so this is for the daily report for the each machine so now we come to the dashboard now we have multiple dashboards with automat system so one of them the dashboard we have is called eagle eye so eagle eye dashboard is a peculiar dashboard in which you are able to see the factory output the whole output of your shop floor so production is 2000 units you are able to see and we are lacking around 75 percent we have achieved the target so 25 percent of the target is still pending what is the productive time it is 21 hours uh, for this shift okay so in this shift the 22 21 22 hours has been the productive time 27 machines are online 15 hours is the idle time so this is some of all the machines that are there uh, the losses and the productive time of all the machines we are able to see the availability performance and OEO here we are also seeing the downtime is 30 minutes has been recorded 30 hours of downtime has been recorded and the losses for the whole shift for the whole of factory are 4500 rupees over here we have got list of all machines which are there and we can see the status of each machine so uh, we are seeing that this machine is offline because because there is no material available over here the operator is not re put in the reason why there is, why there is downtime this machine seems to be offline this machine is on but there is no production going on because it is yellow so same way we are able to see targets of each machine 141 is the actual production 177 is the target the cycle time the last cycle time we are able to see so the cycle is going on over here since last one hour and 30 minutes so pretty big cycle we are able to see the last few cycles that have been on the machine so last cycle was for 90 seconds uh, then 2100 seconds, 1500 seconds, 
then over here also we are able to see last few histories of last few seconds so we can see if they are consistent over here we are seeing that the machine is running consistently over here over here we are seeing that there is no, not much of consistency but there is there is breakage over here we are seeing over here we are seeing over here that 5 seconds 4 seconds is the cycle time so now if you want to see which all machines are offline we can see this these machines are offline okay then if you want who was the last operator over here we can see over here over here th there's no operator now if we don't want to see the we want to see machines which are idle which are online but idle then we are able to see that these machines are idle over here so we are seeing that mr hitesh is the operator over here so this is for the machine summary now we can also see that what is the productive time for each hour so since the shift has started we are able to see the productive time and idle time so here productive time versus idle time we are seeing that it, the, there is a lot of idle time over here we can also see the production count every hour for all the machines but now let's say if you want to see production count for individual machine then you just click over here and you can see the production count for each of the machine that this machine has only made 3 units this machine has made 56 units this machine has made 67 units so again we can we can close this so this is our drill down view now let's say if we want to analyze downtime so in my total factory most of my machines are work are in idle mode so 470 minutes have been spent total after the shift change as idle out of which and then the next biggest downtime is new part setting which is again 345 or 4 minutes which is big so if we click on it we are able to see that these four machines are the cause of this downtime so there is uh, for 256 minutes there will be no operators so we are able to see here which operator which machine was idle had downtime for how much time due to no operator so we are seeing that this machine was the cause of biggest 33 minutes so half an hour there was no operator on this machine which is very wrong over here four and a half minutes there was no operator then job change all the problems we can see over here on a single dashboard and this dashboard can also be customized as per your requirements and as per the challenges of the company so again i'll just show you one daily factory report in which the oe and all the data of your factory come into place so you can get total plant time was 61000 minutes 61920 minutes out of which actual uh, on time was 30000 minutes uh, then your actual production count was 23000 units uh, target production was 40000 units Idle time was 13,000 minutes, productive time was 16,000 minutes, availability was 48%, performance was 60% and the net OE goes to 28%. Then we can get overview of each and every machine. So machine 1, the plant time, the plant time has not been set over here, so it's showing 0. The available time, productive time, idle time average cycle time master cycle time target production actual production availability of this machine performance of this machine oe of this machine which were the parts and who was the operator so this is a very straightforward simple spreadsheet which you can also download in excel file if you want csv file and pdf format so with this you can get a brief overview of so now here we can see that this machine there was there were two operators hitesh and mayuri and we can see the OE was only 6.5%, uh, the performance was just 9%, OE availability was 70%. So we are seeing that in lots of machines, the performance is bad, but over here we are seeing that there was good performance. So this way we are able to monitor each and every machine, no matter how many machines you have, this can help you find faults, this can hel help you highlight problems, and this can help you optimize your production. So we can also create multiple reports over here, daily, weekly, monthly. Then we can also customize reports 
as per requirements so this is all about cnc monitoring about finding the right kpis and seeing the right reports so autobits is one of the leading companies for cnc monitoring as it integrates downtime monitoring interlock so it integrates all types of kpis required for down for cnc monitoring thank you for watching this video i love to see you again and follow us to know more thank you